Ah! I think we can all agree that we love new additions of cars in Asphalt 9, so it was very nice to see that there's a new update coming. And today we're going to react to the new cars that are in this update. The video is from no other than Firm Films. Trustworthy Asphalt 9 content. You guys should definitely check out his channel. Uh, leave a comment. I'm going to say it was a spectac... Spectacular. Yeah, leave a comment or something. Boom. I'm gonna I'm gonna like it, so you guys should like that comment. Look for that comment. Yeah. Cool. Okay, let's watch this video. Hey guys, Serum here, and today I'm going to be showing you the new cars that will be added in the 13th up. I mean, I didn't expect the Corvette to be in Class D, but I mean that's that's cool, I guess. Wow, those stats are not good, except for acceleration, but... that The handling, that looks rough. That looks real rough, but okay. Let's hear what Firm Films has to say. Shoot! So our first car is one that you probably did not expect to see in D-Class. Definitely did not expect. Its stock stats are pretty similar to that of the Mazda Furi, with a pretty much equal acceleration, slightly worse handling, but slightly better top speed and nitro. Okay. This will be the first five-star D-Class car, and I think it definitely has the potential to become one of the new top contenders in Class D. I do not... Five stars? Is... Oh, man. Wow. Wow, yeah, this, this will probably be good then. I mean, the stats at stock are, are nice, except for the handling in Nitro, which looks terrible. But with, with tuning, I'm sure five stars has to be pretty dang good. Yeah. Yeah. Now we move on okay. to our new C-Class car, the Corvette C8 Sting. Ooh! That's kind of nice. That is nice. That is nice. I like this car. I like this car a lot. Um, why am I acting surprised? It's in the title right here, the C8 Corvette. Oh, okay. This, the C8 Corvette is here. I shouldn't be surprised because I, I saw the thumbnail and, and title. But, yeah, I mean, that's that's cool. I, I like this car a lot. It looks like it'll be a decent, classy vehicle. Maybe not the best. Tell me if I'm wrong, Firum. The closest comparison I could find in Class C is the Acura. This car has a slightly better top speed handling and nitro than that car, but a little bit worse acceleration. Okay. I think this car will probably be a pretty good car for multiplayer, yes. but will likely not replace the Aranera Hesera as king of its class. Boom, exactly what I said. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wait, let me digest this for a second. So, it's a... It's a Ford GT MK2... Hang on. Oh, I'm in the middle of the race right now. Whatever. I don't care. Let's check my uh, Ford GT Class B. Our top speed is at 362. This thing's top speed is at 300. Not, not upgraded, but that's very low. Wow. But then it's it's acceleration starting is incredible. It's handling in nitro is way better than this actual Ford GT. So that's interesting. Okay. Class car I'm going to eat my peaches. Mark II, which looks to be a complete opposite of the Ford GT that we have in the game right now. Mm -hmm. The lowest top speed in class B at stock. Oh really? Wow. The highest stock acceleration in its class and the handling in nitro look decent. These peaches are so good. This is crazy. Wow, that's so good. Peaches. Isn't as well. This car will likely be a very agile one that will not be a new king, though. And now for the big boy of the update, the S Class Bailey. Ew, bro! No, 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 no. No. I get. I don't even want to look at that thing. That's wait. I don't. What? You gotta be kidding me. Wait, I did not see that. We did not see that. That. No, 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 no. No, you can't be for real. Wait a minute. Yo, I actually, I'm getting PTSD flashbacks right now from this terrible car. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm gonna scroll up. <sighs> oh, I cracked my spine for that. 85 Blueprint is one of these cars again? Wait, this is like top tier class S right here. Yeah, wow, that's some really good speed, huh? You gotta be kidding me. This car is actually, it might be one of the kings of the game. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, let's, this is Asphalt 8 right now. Never thought I'd go back. 
Where's that Bailey? I never wanted to see this car again, but I guess we're doing it. Yeah, this car is like the worst thing in Asphalt 8. Like, seriously, it's such a bad car. But, but like, <laughs> I mean, like, bruh, uh, bruh, bruh, why, okay. Couldn't they have gotten like a, like a cooler car or something? No offense, but like, really, does anybody actually want the Bailey Blade to be in this game? I just dropped my peach. Like, couldn't they have gotten, like, I don't know, like a... Couldn't they have gotten the Bugatti Devo to have these stats instead of a, a Bailey? Like, how fast does this car even go in real life? Like, I swear, it does not go 434 kilometers an hour. It's a V8 engine with 550 horsepower. And a top speed of 186 miles an hour, which is nowhere, no, it's nowhere near 434 kilometers an hour. Let me just make sure I'm not stupid. 186 miles an hour is 299 kilometers an hour. You're telling me at stock, they decided that this game, they would put this car to have 434, that's without nitrous speed, instead of 300. That makes no sense to me. The, the Ford GT MK2 should have had these stats. The Bailey should have had the, the Ford GT MK2 stats. This makes no sense. Why? Why this car? Why does it have to be so good? We don't like this car. Nobody likes this car. I think. Comment if you like this car. Blade GT1. A lot of you may remember this car from Asphalt 8, where it wasn't very good, let's just say. Mm -hmm. But in Asphalt 9, I think this car is going to be very powerful, and let me tell you why. The top speed, acceleration, and handling are almost equal to that of the Trion Nemesis at stock, but with a nitro of nearly 55 instead of 35, so 20 points higher. So you can imagine this car will probably drive like the Trion Nemesis, but have much better nitro efficiency, which was the only thing that car was really lacking in the first place. If it's acceleration at max is good enough, I wouldn't be surprised if this becomes the new second best car in the game, but we'll have to see once the update... Second best car in the game is going to be a Bailey. Oh... Drops and I can give you the max stats. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you have enjoyed and consider subscribing for more asphalt. Subscribe to Furum, like the video, like my video. Wow. Yeah, no, the real shocker. I don't even care about the C8 Corvette. We should have. Why is this car 434 kilometers an hour at, at stock? Okay. Okay, I hope you like my reaction. If you didn't, I don't care. Bye. <laughs>